What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Horizon 5 once again. And in today's video, I get to mess around with uh, a really cool car that they've brought back into this game. This is actually a car that I don't really mind that they've recycled back into this game. Uh, in the winter season, so in two weeks time, we're actually going to get this car, which is the Caddy Limo. Um, and I'm pretty happy about that. However, with this entire new month, we actually do get to drive it kind of early uh, in the uh, monthly rivals. So I'm going to try both the one obviously, that has the engine in it, the Caddy Limo, and then the one that's electric, or the EV monthly rivals, which is the Cupra that I've tested out uh, a day or two ago, whenever that was, that the video actually went up live. And that was actually a really fun car to drive, but, like I said, for today's video, I want to do both of the monthly rivals, just to see what they're like, and, uh, yeah, basically try to get top 1,000 if I can. But, yeah, mostly I just want to test out the Caddy Limo, because I feel like it's just going to be a really, really fun car to drive. So, Let's uh, let's go for it. I I've no idea how many people have actually done this. I can't even check because I have no position in the world. Um, all right, let's just start it. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this track to be honest with you. I do know it. We've driven it many times. But yeah, I'm definitely happy that the limo's back. The limo's like one of the funnest cars in the Forza series. All the way back in Forza, what was it, Motorsport Six or whatever that was? I'm pretty sure that's when that came out. It was honestly such a fun car to drive around in and just to make videos on. So I'm actually very happy that's back in this game. It is very, very slow off the line. <laughs> really, really slow off the line. That's okay, it doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't matter too much because this is going to be... A rolling start that we're going to end up doing here. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, it's so slow. It doesn't drive too badly, though. I can't remember. Is this... I'm pretty sure this is front-wheel drive as standard, isn't it? Oh, my God. It is so slow. You need as much momentum as possible with this thing. <laughs> it's so incredibly slow. I feel like I'm not going to be doing too many laps with this thing. Because the laps are going to be so long. I slowed down. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. To slow down there. Oh my god. It's... <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. It's okay. That lap is not the lap that counts. This next lap is the lap that counts. The lap with the rolling start. Okay. I just need to try not to smash into anything. Look at it. It's huge. It is massive. Again, I'm actually so happy that it's back in the game. I can't wait to build this thing for everything and anything. Once we actually do get my hands on it in the winter season. You best believe I'm taking this thing drifting. Oh my god, I have the best idea ever. This thing down the golden toge. <laughs> I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. This is going to be the dumbest thing in the world when it comes out. This thing around the golden toge is going to be amazing. Because <laughs> that track is so tight and so small. Usually when you try to get as close as possible to the walls and stuff like that. You do it in like little cars, that is such a good track for like little cars. And then if I bring something that's really, really long like this, I have to take my corners so badly. I have to go really wide into them so my sides don't hit into the walls. I even slow down so much and I still ended up under steering into the wall. Are you serious? Oh my god. I don't know why, why I'm expecting this thing to have so much more grip. Oh my god. Okay, can I just please do one, one good lap? Just one, one lap that I don't crash on. Okay, that's a smooth on that one. Here again, I can turn in. Nice and smooth. 
Very nice. I think manual clutch is probably going to be so useful with this guy, but obviously I'm not using it right now. Come on, then. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's so incredibly underpowered. Looks very, very fancy inside. Leather on the dash and everything. Jeez. Alright. A little sideways there with the lift off oversteer. Just rotate back around. Oh, look at that. Jeez. <laughs> it's actually so slow. Okay. That's better. That's much better. Okay. I still think I went a tiny bit too slow, but... Okay, this is going to be the best lap I've done, right? It is. 123.232. Alright, let's quit that. Now let's have a look where I'm in the world with that. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> it's just driving this thing uh, fast, or, or like trying to keep it driving fast is the funniest thing in the world, because you can't actually slow down for corners, but you have to, because the grip is just not there. It's just, it feels so heavy. I mean, it is a massive limo, but still, it's just a funny, funny experience to drive this thing fast, or try to anyway. All right, where am I in the world with this thing? I'm top two percent, so I'm nowhere near top one thousand. I'll say, okay, three thousand nine hundred. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. Is there anybody in my friends and club? Okay, yeah, there's people in my club that have done bits. One eighteen though, jeez. So this person in manual still did a one eighteen eight seven nine. Okay, I'm going to pick this guy here, because he's just about top 1,000 um, in the world. So I'm going to pick him as my next rival, and try to see if I can get anywhere close to him. He's two seconds faster than me. Jesus. Alright. I need to I need to step my game up here in the way I'm taking these corners. Maybe I just don't need to slow down as much for these corners as I think I am going to. Anyway, let's, uh, let's try this again. Boys, it took me 40 seconds to go back and do... A rolling start. Not like a, do a lap, but like go back where the start finish line is. 40 seconds. That's how slow this car is. Okay, so he's not doing anything crazy here. Maybe I should have just kept in a second there for that entire corner. Yeah, here he's just like speeding up. Okay. But he's definitely not getting away from me. Okay, here he's not slowing down. Which I think I was. So don't slow down for that. Is he gonna slow down for this? Let's slow down a little bit here. Okay. Right. So I can see what I've done wrong before. But overall, I kind of kept up with him. Okay. That's not too bad. Have I beat my personal West already? I don't even know. Alright, keep it in third for most of this. And then here, go to second. But don't change it to third. Just yet. Keep it revved, keep it, keep, 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 keep going. Nice, 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 nice. Now change it to third. That's it. That is much better. That's what I did bad. that's what I did wrong the last time. Like I changed to third prematurely, because I forgot I was going to go uphill for most of that run, so... Clean. Very clean. Very, very clean. Oh, that was so bad! I went too fast in the corner before that. 
Yeah, that's my fault. I went too fast in the corner before that, so I ended up having a really poor line for the next one. Okay, that's definitely obviously my fastest time. Okay, at least I know what I need to do now. I know what's happening here. Much better in a corner taking there. Here again, just a tap of the brakes. I'm put myself in a good position for this. Again here, don't change gears. Now change gears. Okay, nice. I'm ahead. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Very good. That's what I'm saying. I should slow down a lot for that. So here, this corner. I can have that line through it. Nice. And I'm pulling ahead. Is that a better line? This is it. This is it. Yeah, top 1000, boys. Oh, not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's move on to something else. I don't spend a whole 40 minutes on this one event. Oh my god. I just... <laughs> It just annoys me how long this lap is. I wish it was a shorter track, but it's it's funny in this car to try and drive it fast. All right, top one thousand though, not bad. Well, top nine hundred now as well with that run. Right, that was that was actually so much better. Seven thirty nine out of one hundred and sixty nine thousand people. We take those. We we take those. I'm still nowhere near the top of my club because I'm just not bothered to do it. But <laughs> I just wanted to mostly just check this guy out and see what it drives like. That guy's over two seconds faster than me again. So I don't know why he's doing to go that much faster, but props to you for doing that. All right, let's go on to the next one, which is this, the um, the uh, Cooper. I think this one should be kind of fun. I think this one should be quite fun to drive around. Again, one minute, 49 seconds. Wait, what? No. What? Are these, are people actually getting legitimate times here? What? Okay, so 50 something seconds is what people are getting here. Okay, I could possibly just do this, right? Uh, I'll select this person as my ghost. Automatically. Instead of backing out and then coming back in again. And then I'll just test drive this, because we've kind of driven this thing. Like, I've driven it uh, a few days ago when we were playing the game. And I got to see what this is like anyway. Completely stuck. So I feel like this shouldn't be too much of a, an issue. I just need to drive fast here. Or like, not really get used to the car anyway, because I've done that already. If that makes sense. Okay. Again. Fully electric. All-wheel drive. I'm going to try to get as much of a run-up as I possibly can here with this thing. I'll just go through this corner here. Instant torque. Should be fine. Yeah, the one thing I don't really have to worry about here is actually changing gears. So I'll just go here. Okay, that I can handle flat out. Okay, braked way too late there. So 50 something seconds for this. It's not bad. I had to try not to slide with this thing. I did not expect that at all. I expected at least a little bit of sliding, especially when I climbed up on the curb. But this thing had so much grip. Okay. I did actually really, really like this car when I was playing with it the other day. I love the way it handles on road, I love the way it handles off road. It's nice. Okay. That first lap was, again, just a lap to get used to it. Especially after driving the limo. Okay. I think we should be fine. Obviously, I'm very far behind the actual time that we should be getting, but it's okay. 
We'll fix that. I mean, I did well to not slide, but I break this way too late there. Let's try to figure out what my... What breaking point I can pick there. I'm definitely mastering this this car very slowly. Basically not sliding it around or anything. Oh that was that one's annoying because you go over a crest as you need to slow down. So your wheels kinda just don't have the the weight on them. So you just kinda slide a little bit forward. When you should be slowing down. That makes sense. Why am I sliding? Actually, I get to go back because I'm very close to the start finish line. I don't have to worry about that. All right, I need to try and do a good lap here, a clean one as well. Okay, that was probably the best lap I've done so far. Uh, also, don't worry about the top left where it says two laps in because I've, do I've definitely done more than that. I just ended up restarting it because I wanted to put on sim steering. Um, I think I'm on about like my tenth lap now, I should say. I think I restarted it when it had about seven laps in, so... Yeah, I just went and put on sim steering. It's... I was gonna say it's an awkward car to drive. It's not really, it's just, it feels like... Every time I go on my brakes, I can't control my brakes properly, so I ended up sliding. It's not because of oversteering with the throttle, it's, it's due to my braking. Like, I'm trying to be really, really smooth on the brakes, but, like, even even the tiniest bit of, like, wrong braking, it just, I end up messing up. So, like, when I go into a corner and I sort of, I slowly lift off the brakes, you know, try to get, not to get the back to oversteer or to rotate around, you know what I mean? Um, it still just does it anyway, you know? It just feels really, really strange the way it does that, because I am being as smooth as I possibly can be on a controller. But it still, still ends up doing it, so I think what I'm going to need to do is that. Just go on the brakes and fully let off. Because what I was doing is I was going into a corner. Braking. And then sort of just lifting off my brakes very slowly. If that makes sense. But then the back end would like just sort of rotate around and I'd start to oversteer. Even though I was being smooth on my brakes. He just didn't make any sense to me. Oh, why are you sliding now, game? It's just like that. Literally just like that. It was the tiniest tap of the brakes, just to sort of point my nose in the right direction. And, yeah. It immediately goes into oversteer mode. Really, really annoying. Really, really annoying, the way it does that. It's so easy to just lose balance. Very, very easy. So the best way to do it is to go on the brakes hard, fully let go, and then just sort of turn it to the corner on, on the throttle. Literally don't... Don't overdo the brakes. See, because on the throttle it just doesn't oversteer. Because I don't... I don't mess up with the balance. slow down to so much there. Way too much. That's unfortunate. I know I can beat this guy though. I 100% know I can beat him. 1 million percent know I can beat this guy. Come on, come on, come on. And slam on the brakes. And fully lift. Yeah. That is the way to take these corners. I hate the way it spawns back the signs that you break the previous lap. It shouldn't do that, in my opinion. I think as soon as you finish breaking all the signs, they should just go. That was a really good corner. The poles, the signs, all that stuff, they should just disappear. I shouldn't bring it back again. That was the perfect corner. But I don't think this guy's catching me this time. So I think I beat him. Yeah. 
I've beaten him. Top 1000 boys. Not bad. Uh, we'll do one more lap. Just one more. Just one more. But I knew it was possible. I knew it was very much possible. See how much those signs slow me down. And the fence. Okay, well, that was the curb slowing me down. Oh, we're leaving that. <laughs> that was literally me climbing onto the curb. I've done it every single lap and not once has it actually done that. And now, on that run, I decided to just do one more. Hopping on the curb made me lose traction. Okay. Whatever game. Whatever. We've done top 1000. And that's, that's all I really care about. It's a good car to drive. It doesn't feel like it has the power that it says it does. It comes on very like smoothly it doesn't come on like full instant hit if that makes sense with a torque um like a lot of electric cars where you just accelerate and they just sort of kick you in the back and you just go forward it's a lot smoother on the acceleration much more smoother um so that's why it's so easy for this guy to like in that race i was either you need to act either be fully 100 percent throttle or fully 100 percent brake you can't be like smooth on the on the braking and stuff like that. So if I sh if I was to show you uh, telemetry here, and if you look on the left, or sorry, on the right, when you see the throttle, like this just isn't the thing with that car. It's either 100% and then 100%, 100%, 100%. Right? There's no in between with that car, and uh, that's the one thing that I had to change about my driving style with it because it's just it felt really weird to do it like that. But um, that's pretty much the way that car is. It's not bad. To drive again you just have to change the driving style and uh, in the end i did where am i in the world let's have a look very similar amount of players 817 very similar amount of players to the other event as well the other rivals 817th in the world we'll take it well that's it those were the two rivals events for this season i'm definitely down to mess around with that limo once we get it in winter but for now that's it and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye everybody